What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to City Skylines After Dark. Uh, City Skylines is a city builder that came out, I want to say, I don't know, a half a year ago or something? A couple months ago. Um, and it was a really, really good game. I, I really enjoyed it. I did a series on it as well. It's a, uh, it's a pretty great game, especially if you're into city builders. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here, and it all works pretty, pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Uh, there were some problems with traffic and whatnot, but those were patched out, I think, after a while. Uh, and then it just released After Dark, which is their first expansion, I'm pretty sure, or their first real expansion at least, uh, which adds a whole bunch of stuff. It's available on Steam for 15 euros, so it's probably 15 bucks as well, because Europe always gets screwed over. Um, and it adds a whole lot of stuff to the game. And honestly, I was looking for an excuse to get back into this game because I really, really enjoy it. Um, truth be told, I am terrible at the game, but I do enjoy it quite a bit. So, uh, I'm just going to start a new city and we're going to have some fun with this expansion. So, let's do it. They apparently added a bunch of new maps. I don't know which one I want, though. Um, all right, I think ideally I'd like some water, but not too much and a lot of resources. So maybe River Run would be a good one. There's, let's see, 76. I'm just looking at the suitable area for building here. Um, I guess River Run would be the best bet here. Yep. All right. We're going with River Run and Rockfield. I don't really care too much about city name. I guess if one of you comes up with a good name, and if you put that in the comments, I will, I will rename the city to that. Um, anyway, here we go. Start a new city. When a building has more than one need icon showing, click on it and hover over the icons in the information window to learn more of what is wrong. Okay. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what exactly was changed with this DLC. <clears throat> the most obvious thing is that there's now a day and night cycle, which wasn't there in the first game or in, you know, in the uh, vanilla game when there was no DLC yet. So, all right. Yeah, it's been a while since I played. I still remember, obviously, some parts of it. Um, so this is the entrance to our city. This is the one square. Uh, eventually, you can actually purchase more plots of land and expand your city. You can actually make a very, very big city. Um, so that's cool, but, you know, like I said, I'm pretty bad at the game, so I'm going to try and use this as a way to learn more about it. Uh, I do know that if you do this, you unlock more different roads, which is actually pretty good for me. Uh, so let's see, we got three lanes. Yeah, I think they have this, but maybe it's a bit much. Apparently, there is no two lane or four. Okay, that's four lane. This is a six lane one way road. I, I don't. I feel like that's maybe a bit too much, though. All right, we're just going to go ahead and we'll start with a one way road, two lanes. And we just got to keep in mind that we will upgrade this at a later point. Uh, there we go. So, starting off, I want to make sure that. There we go. Really? You're just going to make it? I was doing so well. It was going to be so nice and symmetrical, and that's already screwed up. All right. Um, so we'll just start off with this. It's all one-way traffic, so people can only really drive into the city and then instantly leave. I'm pretty sure if I pause it now, let's get, let's have a look here. Um, I want to see people actually move into your city, even when there's nothing there. Although, except I'm pretty sure they have no reason to be here, so we should probably fix that first. So, we'll start out with some uh, low-density residential zones, and eventually, you know, you get access to bigger uh, zones and stuff like that. But right now, we got to go with some very, very small places to live. Um, actually, it might be better. All right, so we got a pretty big row. You know, this is like a... All right, all two-lane. Um, so, what we want to do is make a smaller area with uh, smaller roads. And just make some nice and small neighborhoods where people can live. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking maybe... Alright, let's put that over here. When it comes to city builders, I always do the most random stuff. Um, I don't really think about what is most efficient. I'm usually preoccupied making things that I think are fun to look at, so... 
Uh, that's just what you're gonna get from me. Uh, let's see. All right, so we'll make this a one-way road. There we go. And we obviously want people to be able to leave this area. This is where we will make our first residential zone. Kind of away from the big roads, I think. There we go. All right, there we go. Nope, I just ruined it. All right, and now we'll get another normal road. And let's see, we want people to be able to leave. Let's do that over here. Is this smart? Probably. We are figuring it all out as we go. All right, then we'll make this residential as well. All right, let's start with that. Let's see people move into the city. Hello, this is Chirper. Keep an eye out on what your citizens are talking about and what is happening around the world. Hashtag, you found me. All right, get out of here. This is the sort of uh, messaging system within the game. It'll give you messages about what your citizens think. Uh, for example, when there's, you know, certain things missing, missing from your city, uh, your citizens will uh, chirp about it. I guess it's not tweeting anymore, but so yeah, they'll chir chirp about it. Uh, so first things first, we need some fresh water, I'd say. And we need a place to get rid of our dirty water. And we want those hooked up and spreading, there we go, all around the city. Alright, so we have access to fresh water. People can get rid of their dirty water, that's good. Uh, next thing would be power. Uh, we're definitely getting the most electricity if we put it over there. Uh, it's honestly a pretty small difference, but I think it would be worth it. So, I'm just gonna put this guy... ...there? I also still have to figure out how to rotate things. I'm pretty sure that there was a way to do this, but I don't know what it was. Fresh water will finally be running in the city. Welcome, modern commodities. Hashtag fresh water, major, mayor rocks. Alright, so... Gonna put that there, and then we'll hook up the... Let's see. Uh, am I gonna do this? Alright, I guess this will do for now. We're gonna definitely tweak this layer, because this looks pretty ridiculous, but okay. Uh, a local power plant is online. Maybe I'll get my TV working again. Apparently, the only two people living in the city right now are both named Oscar. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I can already see more birds and plants in the city thanks to the use of green energy. Um, to unlock more services for your citizens, grow the population to reach milestones. Alright, so we need a population of 460 to unlock things like landfalls or landfills, <clears throat> medical clinics, and an elementary school. Uh, and that'll be our very first milestone, so I guess we're just going to give that a shot. Uh, people are already moving in. And what I would like is, alright, let's see. Residential this. I'm going to make this residential as well, actually. These roads are not too big. Alright, there we go. The economy panel lets you handle taxes and stuff. Alright, so they apparently changed this a bit, so you could say... Hey, you're going to stay up at night and you're going to spend my, my power on stuff. You're going to have to pay for it a little bit extra. So, I'm not sure why you would ask more money for it during the night, though. Like, how does that benefit you? I'm not really sure, but let's just give it a shot. Uh, okay, they're all happy. So, we can rename districts, buildings, car citizens, and other objects. Okay. We will get there eventually, I'm sure. All right, so we're making another road, and we're going... Oh, that is ugly. All right, let's go like that. Beautiful, and we'll put some more residential in here as well. We basically want a lot of residential to begin with. Or otherwise, there will be nobody living in the actual city. That doesn't really work. Oriental residence. So you can look at your little streets and stuff. It's actually quite nice. I wish you could hide the... Chirper button. There might be a an option for this, actually. Gameplay. Auto open chirper messages. There should be a way to get, just get rid of them, I think, but... Edge scrolling. You can change your language if you'd like. Guide pop-ups. Use the day-night cycle. So you could actually, if you wanted to, completely get rid of it. Um, Alright, but apparently there's no way of getting rid of uh, the chirper thing. There might be a mod for this. Let's be honest, there's mods for everything, so probably is, but we'll see. Alright, so people are moving into the city. We're starting to earn some money. Or actually, we're losing money right now because I spent a lot of it on uh, 
roads and all kinds of different things. All right, so we'll get some shops. Let's put these over here. And okay. Only downside is if someone who lives here would like to visit the shop, they would have to leave the entire city. Uh, that is kind of an oversight, actually. I should probably fix this. So I'm going to pause the game for now. Uh, let's see. So the shops need to be... So this... Alright, so this would be fixed if this was not a one-way road. It needs to be a two-way... Street. There we go. Alright, so that should fix it. So now people can actually go to the shop and still... Uh, let's see. This does not need to be one way either. You don't want to force your people to actually leave the city, I think. If they're just going to the shops to buy something, that seems like a silly thing to do. Alright, here we go. You can build elevated roads by using a page up key to raise road level. Alright, yeah. Uh, so that was actually an option, uh, from the start, but I never really got how to do it. Apparently, let's see. So you can go page up. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, but I was never really able to do that super efficiently. Um, I would definitely like to try and do some more of that uh, in this city. Um, all right, so we need some industry stuff, definitely. So what I'll do is I'm going to set up a little industry zone. Just smart. We could just go like that, actually. All right, so... There you are. We are making... Wait, can I just go? Yep, I can just go across the water. That's pretty cool. So I'm just starting with my industry... Over here. There we go. You basically want it away from people because it's uh, extremely noisy and it's, you know, everything gets super dirty. You don't want that, so... Uh, there we go. How much money do I have? This is going to be very expensive to do. Oh, God. Wait, can I just connect... Alright, so I'm not allowed to do that. I would need to actually buy this plot of land to um, stretch a road like that. So I'm going to have to figure out a good way for people to get to the industrial zone. Probably break away from the road over here. Alright, let's start by doing that. So, I, I maybe four lanes is a big much. It supports medium traffic. I'm not really sure. We could do like a one-way road over there. I think that might be okay. People should not be super slow when I do that, I think. So if I put it from here, I'm pretty sure people should be able to just get over to the industrial zone. So, alright. Make it straight. Yep, that's basically what I wanted so all right so it's now connected we're gonna put some industry over here over there uh, and then I need a four let's see they obviously need a way to leave as well all right start with four lane go like that we just want to make it into kind of a square here Oh, uh, this is going to look ugly. This is going to look incredibly ugly. I feel like most roads in real life look this ugly, but you never see it because you don't really see it from an aerial view. Yep, there we go. This will be the industry zone. This looks disgusting, by the way, but okay. You know, what can you do? So, we definitely want to keep the industry away from people. Um, so, what I'll do is I'm going to go and put it like... Right, maybe go like this or something. Yep, so that way we don't have to actually get rid of any power lines. All right. And then put some normal two-way roads in between so that people can change their mind about where they'd like to go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put one more here or something. Whatever. This is all... Uh, just for now. This was probably terrible. If anybody of, of you have ever played this game, you're probably getting upset right now because this is not going to go well, but we'll see. We're just going to give it a shot. So I'm going to put some industry around the uh, windmill thing because it's already generating a lot of noise, and if you put residences there, people are going to get very, very upset. 
And obviously we don't really want that to happen. So I'm just putting some industry there. Uh, not only will it supply power instantly to this um, industry zone, but it's probably going to be... Um, how's the building doing? Okay, blah, blah, blah. So you can sort of see all the information for the building, the people that work there, uh, what education they've got, how many jobs are available, and how close the building is to leveling up. Uh, which is mostly based, I think, on uh, the happiness of your citizens and uh, their education, stuff like that, how much the, la the land value is very important as well. Uh, so it's basically stuff like that. Alright, I'm going to put this here. Alright, we're going to make this into shops. And I think that should do the trick. They don't have any water, obviously. So we're going to have to go like this and just make sure we hook up everything. It's always... Got to remember to put this up whenever you make a new zone or people are going to be complaining about it. Alright, so definitely want to hook up this area as well. Alright, there you go. So we just uh, took our first steps. We got our first residential neighborhood. We got some factories here now. Uh, they have workers. They're operating normally. This is all good. And they are nice and far away from the city. This actually looks pretty cool from up close. I dig this. So, we're trying to get a lot of industry here as well. There you go. Alright, let's make this industry. Everything next to the big roads needs to be industry. Alright, info view. So, we could check things like citizen happiness. And as you can see, they're pretty happy over here. The shops are happy. People are not very happy. I don't know why, though. And the industry is really feeling it. They're super happy. Um, I'm pretty sure the citizens weren't that happy because there were no uh, shops around. There was no there was no jobs. There was no power. There was no water. So I think we should see them becoming pretty happy soon. And okay, oh, they're out of water. Why is that? We don't have power. Okay, that is totally on me. We totally forgot to hook up the these things with uh, power as well. And now I get why they're unhappy. This totally makes sense to me. So we should see this go up pretty soon. The pumps and stuff weren't even working. That is kind of dumb. But they have power now. They should be coming on. There we go. I'm pretty sure I wish we should see it rise to at least like 60% soon. Alright, we have a few traffic uh, situations, it says, but it's really not that bad yet. These are all parked cars, uh, which is good. This is a small residential neighborhood. See, what I did in my pre- Oh, wow. It's night. Alright, this actually looks very nice. So, this is one of the biggest sort of pros that I saw for this DLC, is that everything looks really nice at night. People should start doing different things. There should be less people, less traffic, uh, things like that. Go nuts, donuts. This looks cool, though. I like it. Yeah. All right. So you have a little little cycle here. It's pretty pr probably pretty tough to see for you guys unless you're watching in uh, full screen. Uh, but there's a day and night cycle, which should be changing around. Then also my mouse apparently will generate a bit of light. Uh, to illuminate certain areas. All right, Union Aerospace Corporation announced their plans for Mars. I don't care. That is not at all relevant for my situation, so... Thanks for nothing. Uh, let's just make all of this industry for now. So the power can spread as well. There we go. So we should probably be seeing some more industry soon, and now... The people that do start working in that industry need uh, places to live. So I think we should set up some places that are closer to their jobs. Let's make this a residential neighborhood as well. Let's include this and that one. And then we should see people moving in here uh, nice and quickly now. Look at all this industry. All right, so they're all choosing to move across this road. Yeah, because they don't have any other options. So we should maybe... Uh, consider adding an extra entrance to the city for the industry, or... It's not gonna go very well. Why is the light, uh, yellow here? 
It's like yellow orangey, and over here it's all uh, white. That's cool. I like it. All right, we're getting some more residences. This is all good. We are about to reach uh, 450 people, or 250 people. Sorry. All right, 255 already. All right, so the city is starting to to fill up with more people. This is all cool. Apparently, this thing kind of looks like a boot. I totally did that on accident, but it looks pretty cool. This just looks like crap, really. But I guess from up close, it looks pretty cool. Looks a little shady right now, because there's no... Uh, there's no buildings or anything. It's, it's a little, little empty. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here, seeing as this was um, the first part. We're already, like, t over 20 minutes in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, seeing as this is the first part of a series, please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed. And I'll be back soon with more uh, City Skylines After Night. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.